Right, so today's video is just basically the second part, the biggest A-level mistakes that I made um, during my time doing A-levels. And to start off with, if you haven't watched the first part, I recommend you watch that just to give you an idea. And um, this part is probably the most important part because all the biggest mistakes I've put in this video. So, number one, don't eat junk food. The reason I say this is because they so eat junk food like sugary stuff or crisp. Well, they give you a bit of a sugar rush and then afterwards you feel tired and you can't really revise as well. So don't eat sugary food um, and instead switch to stuff like fruits, nuts, seeds. The reason I say this is because fruits are obviously good for you and they taste nice as well. Nuts, they're good for you, but they're also good for your brain and so are seeds. Seeds and nuts contain omega-3 proteins and stuff like that. And that's meant to be good for your brain. So make sure you eat plenty of nuts and seeds. So yeah, make sure you eat nuts, fruits, seeds, and if you want, vegetables. But throw away your junk food. Another thing about junk food is that it makes you sort of feel bad about yourself. Whereas fruits, eating them makes you feel good about yourself. So you're in a more positive mind frame to revise. So yeah, that's... That's one of the biggest reasons why I say don't eat junk. Second thing, if you revise in the library, don't revise with friends. The reason for this is because I remember when in my first year when I was revising in the library, I was revising with a friend and he used to talk so much. Um, he was a nice guy, but he just used to talk for ages, but I wasn't getting any work done. So yeah, make sure if you go to the library then go with a friend, but a friend who's focused, like who really needs to get his work done. In my second year, there was another friend who's doing medicine and he obviously needed to get the grades as well, like three years. And um, he was focused on getting that. So we went together and we both got into medicine. So yeah. Third thing to mention is do all the past papers, but make sure you don't do any of them half-heartedly. I remember um, I used to do some of them, but I used to do like half and then think, you know, that's, that's enough. Or I used to miss out the little questions and I was like, oh, don't worry, I'll get them right in the exam. But if you do them half-heartedly, then the little ones, even the little ones, they count because you're not really getting the um, mark scheme answer into your brain. So if you miss out all the little ones, well, fair enough, you might get the big marks in the, in the exam, but you're going to lose all the little marks. So make sure you do all the questions, do all the past papers, but do them properly. So say if you feel like you can't be asked doing a paper and, and it's like 9, 10 o'clock at night, well, just leave that paper wake up the next morning, do it properly, but make sure you finish the whole paper and do it full heartedly. And make sure you complete, if there's 10 sets of past papers or seven sets of past papers, make sure you complete all of them. Don't do five and then leave the other two out just because the other two might be the harder ones that might help you the most. And my final tip is any of you who are working or doing voluntary work, basically just quit while you've got the chance. I quit around March time, uh, February, March. Every, I, I basically quit everything. I mean, my job, it wasn't really worth the extra money because yeah, fair enough, I could work from March up until June, but for a couple extra quid, I don't want to reset the whole year again. So I quit my job. And um, I noticed as well, the people who were working throughout the, up, leading up to the exam, they're the ones who are actually resetting this year. So like, it's not, like, I'm not having to go at them, but I'm just saying, like, it's best to quit your job, lose a bit of extra money, but it saves you um, having to reset the year again. I mean, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself resetting the year, going through sixth form all over again. So, yeah, just quit your job. Um, it's not really worth, worth it. And quit voluntary work if you're doing it, because once you've got your personal statement, once you've got your offers done, then there's not really any need for your voluntary work. So just quit that if you're doing any voluntary work. But well. that's all the tips um, I can give you right now. Can't really think of anything else, but if I do, I'll make a part three of this video. But thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you soon.